So you'll bring the feet forward, he'll wind up the tail, he'll strike out to the side uh, and hopefully grab the rat uh, and not my legs, preferably. Come on. So you'll have a little look, he'll look at the food, he's looking at my little tapping stick, he'll get that tail going on flat footed and he'll strike out like that. Oh, that's a bit close to my legs. There we go. What's that? He held on, yeah, I know. He's got a leg there, left over too. So, kind of, kind of showed what I was talking about. The tail started to go. He struck out. They're like to the side, really. Uh, that's where the power comes from. And a couple of those slaps there, that was just to grab the food at the end of the tour. <laughs> So it kind of goes without saying, if you want to stay safe in croc country, always stay out of the water they inhabit, but always stay back from the water's edge, because a crocodile elbow's size can strike about two thirds of his body length. So that's about for Elvis, maybe four, sorry, three and a half metres. Largest crocodile ever recorded was six metres. Always stay seven metres or maybe ten metres back from the water's edge, and you're out of that initial strike zone. All right, now we're going to see if we can get him to jump up a little bit and have a little bit of a play. We'll see how he goes. We haven't done this for. Oh, quite a while actually, because we gave him a bit of a break from this third feed during the holidays. But we'll see how he goes. I've got a lamandra in my way. Come on, big fella. So remember before we'll feed the alligators, they did that thing called a tail walk. They pushed their body up and out of the water. We're going to see how Elvis goes today. Let's have a little look. He's not that keen on the rat. Come on, get your head up. Come on. Just get that head up. It's a very, very small bit of food. There we go. And he got it. Perfect. Anyway. All right. Oh, what is this, Kana? What is this stick? All right, come on, big fella. Come on. I reckon he lost all that energy on that big strike just then. His belly was up in the air. That was pretty intimidating, I've got to be honest. Come on. Come on. I'll get closer to you if you like. Come on, there's his foot. There we go. Look at the blood coming out of that top of his mouth. <laughs> this will be cool. He'll go back in the water. He'll lift his head above the water. They've got a backwards facing tongue. It's called a palatal valve. That is closed when they're underneath the water so they don't engulf any water. When he lifts his head up, he'll open that valve. Food goes down.